I feel like I want to sing some music in the background. Do 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 I know my place. Oh, no. And I got that. Hello. Hiya. Yeah. Look in the camera. Um, right, so here's what arrived today. This, this, everything arrived from the team. And so um, I unpacked everything in here, as you do, and the, the place is just, like, taken over with amazing stuff. And I thought I'd just put a little bit of a display together because when I get to the studios, I really want to group things. I don't just want it... Because I think... And this is a this is something I've known over the years and and, and like you know, from experience, you can have the most fabulous things, but if you don't have them grouped and set out in little sets, as it were, like with colour or theme, um, then it can look like a, everything gets lost and it looks like a kind of like a jumble sale. Even though, will you stop it? You're not coming on me now. That even though everything's amazing. So what I want to do is I'll put through everything out into little little sections and then I thought you know what I'm going to leave them for the Facebook live and we're going to start here tonight so you can see easier what is going to be on the shows um on Friday and be as wowed as I as we were we were I mean completely blown away yeah Maria because the team are phenomenal but seriously yeah, off the charts time. off the blooming charts so this is what we've um, we've we've done is we've start we've put some bits and pieces out now I can't even reach over the top I don't know I can't get a lot of the stuff there but look at the lamp look at that isn't that stunning look the bottle this is the made with the rice paper that is on everything you've seen has been printed out digitally from the USB and made into it the rice papers have been printed with an ordinary inkjet printer. Nothing fancy. We've all been getting these Canon Pixma TS. I think it's a 5150 Debbie's got. I think that's the latest one. Uh, mine was the 5051. <laughs> Same numbers, just not necessarily in the right order. Same order, but they both work great. So these are great for card. And um, this is the done with rice paper that Debbie's printed out from the USB with the Charisma from the USB, but change the colour with the little slider. I'm going to show you shortly how to do that. Um, I made these MDF. Maria made did this one. Um, a, a tray here, pencil holder, Pamela's pencil holder, Tracy's um, desk tidy. Oh, this is stunning. This is this is the newbie. This is Julie's um, fabulous wall hanging. She's amazing with acrylic paints. So to print stuff out, transfer it, and then paint it with acrylics, stunning. Look at this bag. I don't know if I can get this up, but this is. Look, that I'm going to pad that out so you can see it on the show. Isn't that fabulous? So not only the cards that you're going to expect from the USB because you're getting all the images, all the stamps from eight ranges. You're getting every single stamp, including all the wording, plus some extra wording in there. All on the USB. Eight ranges, full ranges. So if there's, you know, the stamps, there's, uh, there's charismas. So so much to play with which is why i thought i'd leave this out to show you some more stuff you want to see some more you want to see here's the thing here's the th i love this so things that we've been printing on debbie has been printing and glittering this is just stunning you know you see them on the pictures but you don't you don't when you until you see them in real life second best is the telly where you can see them of course we're an amazing camera woman uh, She's amazing. Like yeah. yeah, but look at that. Look at that, Maria. Look at the, and that's on printed onto printable uh, parchment or vellum, whatever. They, I don't know. I'm sure what, what the difference. But it's the stuff you do with your parchment craft, and glitters, and that's from the quick but cool Christmas range. But look, this is exactly showing what this is all about. Little baby one. Oh, it's the mummy and it's the baby. So all you do is scale it down. If you want to make smaller format cards, you do that. If you want to make bigger cards, you make the bigger ones. That's the beauty of the USB too. Well, it's not two, it's one. It might be two if you like this one. We are loving it. We've been just seriously 
we just keep coming up with new I new ideas all the time let me see what else I've got these are look at this how gorgeous how charming look at that beautiful little card there Sharon's card isn't that lovely another Christmas card because there's two Christmas three Christmas ranges on here off the page Christmas there's Christmas perspectives and there's quick but cool Christmas so if you want quick quick Christmas cards this is going to do it for you and then another pretty little scene again all done with the USB, not the stamps, there's everything here. So all the watercolour, and you can see how successful this has been, and the pens, Sh um, yeah, uh, Sharon likes to use um, alcohol pens. The thing is, this is just like a, a showcase because it's been a free for all. I've just said to the team, do what you want, play with what you want, discover, find out, try it out. If you think you can't do it, try it and see why, and see if you can work out how to do it. And that's what they did this year, look at that effect. You know what that is? That's the Deborah Durant card here. And what she's done is she's used printable acetate, right? So if you get inkjet printer, printed that card, which is already formatted, ready to print out for you, by the way. These are all put together compositions. So you don't even have to do anything if you want new compositions where you would normally have to mask and layer and all that lock. You can just print some, that we put some together for you just to click and print. And then she's colored on the back of them with starlights and then put it against Miri Cord. Is that amazing? Isn't that it's fabulous? Just getting the shine on it, Maria. Stunning, yeah. Mm. So see, it's not just we're not just looking and thinking. So what's been done with it with the digi stamps? We don't. We haven't even gone there. Because all I thought you could do with a with a digital image was colour them in with the pencils or your markers. And but I thought, but why? Is is that the case? Is that true? I knew from old with the old inkjet printers where the ink dried slower, you could emboss really easily on regular card because the inks weren't as developed as they are now. They dry faster, so there's ways around you know doing that now. But you basically need a shiny surface to hold the ink wet on it. So like for heat resistant acetate, oh yes, you can put that through your inkjet printer, pop your embossing powder on it straight away, heat emboss it because that ink will hold the embossing powder. If you look at the cards down at the front there, Maria, can you see those amazing butterfly cards, the two sizes that Tracy did? The white, white wing butterfly at the front, they were just, they were at the front, got mm -hmm. them? Yeah. That's what Tracy did. That's heat resistant acetate. Then black ink with white embossing powder over the top. Heat it, hello. And all you see is the white embossing powder. How cool is that? And then overlaid it and coloured it in, as you normally would. Do you want to see more? Yeah. Have we got people, by the way? We do have people. Are people liking it? People, are you liking it? Give us a heart if you're enjoying them. I know there's a bit of a delay, so I'll not be too bitterly disappointed if you get no, get no response. Look at that. Lots of hearts and thumbs up. That's a pencil That's uh, colouring stunning. in. Isn't it cool? That's actually Gorgeous. a piece of art. Isn't it's it? absolutely a piece of art. It's a card, but it should be in a frame. We think they're going to get in a frame for it. Put it on the wall. Very nice. <laughs> stunning, isn't it? Want to see more? Yeah. All right then, more, more. make out more. So I've got little groupings. I think this is so funny. Look at that. Look at this. Look how funny. That's a quick but cool. But look at how big it is. This is Tracy's card she coloured in. That is so funny. As loads of people we can send that to. Yeah, yeah, animal people. Yeah, people with little furry people in the house. They can scale up and scale down. Scale up, and scale down. Them. Easy, easy, blink and peasy. Let What's me see. Angel policy, it's a full angel policy, Maria. Full angel policy. So have it, play with it, do what you want with it. Wow, is that parchment? The parchment. This is Lisa's. So yeah, you can print on your printable on your parchment and then do your parchment thing on it. Hi Rosemary. Seriously, value for money and value it's not for money, value for creativity. That's what it should be. Is off the charts. I've never brought a product out that has so much endless potential as this does because it's just uh, just to unlock it and do your thing with it that's it to show more oh so i'll show you these look what tracy's done now we're not having the scanning cut on the show because we didn't link it to the scanning cut because if you've got one that's great but you might have a you might have cricket you might have a silhouette you might have whatever and you know i've got two i've got a cricket and i've got a scanning cut dx and i use them now and again and then i forget how i should how i use them i've got to do another learning process if i don't use them it's like familiarity keep using them but 
what has happened what what would you know you can print any of these out put them on your scanning cup which is makes that really amazing and unique my my um opinion and it'll scan them and cut the outside line for you and so it's like saves you it's like a die and you can save that outside line so when you can save the size and marry them up so those of you who got these things and know how to do them but what um what tracy's done is she's made me some stencils look with the scan and cut to just for texture over your mixed media look at that one i think that one's fabulous wow isn't that great that'll be really that rose will be lovely because you can just move the position on it offset it slightly with two different colored inks and it'll look like it's got shadow and shade to it and it'll be like a full-blown rose top of the morning to you wow. is that four leaf one yeah four leaf oh that'll be lucky then then we've got look at that for retro christmas love that Whoa. now that would look really cool um you could stencil i'll tell you what you could do with that get some glycerin sponge through it lightly with uh, one of your foam applicators your blender pads for your inks put some clear glittery embossing powder on it and emboss it and you'll just have a shimmery stars all over your thing that would look really cool look at these these are these have just got to be played with Look at that. Oh my goodness. And of course you've got the masks there. And you've got the masks so you can spray around them. Use your um your cadence ink sprays and things like that. And look at that. There's the mothership. Wow. So easy peasy to do. Um so that's some more there. What else do we oh this even you know I'm the kind of person who um if I see a kitten or a puppy, I go, oh not all the time with a baby. I mean, they're lovely. You know, and everybody loves them. And you know, I'm sure they're lovely. But I'm more of a, a puppy and a kitten person. If I go on, oh, no. So when, but when I saw that, oh, oh seriously. So Even I went, oh, come on. That's off the chart, isn't it? That's, um, I think Debbie used a heat tran uh, transfer um, fabric transfer paper. And it's washable. How cool is that? So you print it on your fabric transfer paper and iron it on. Wow. Yeah, Terry got all excited. He went, Whoa, what's happened to the missus? She's gone all domesticated. Who are you? He got a bit scared. And then so it was crafting. He felt he wasn't scared anymore. Yeah, it's like, yep, I know her. I know her now. This baby blessings put a little combination, a different combination together there with the baby and the hands. And this is a keepsake box Lisa put together with papers from the show and coloured in the, the cover. Wow. I don't know where Diane's pictures are. We took the picture. Oh, they're here. And then let me show you Diane's version of it. And that goes, I love that she's coloured the little in him with the darker skin because Diane's babies were darker skin babies. And that, how gorgeous is that? That's stunning. Isn't that beautiful? How clever is that though to change the hair and the skin tone? Isn't that fabulous? Very. Shall I show you something else Diane's done? I love this one. I'm going to put this in a frame, Diane. I'm just saying. We ran out and bought frames, out and got frames for you. Yeah. This is going to be in a frame when you see it on the show because it's too cool to. It's on a board just so we can get it to the send it, but I'm going to put it in a frame. She printed it onto some music sheet. How cool! And then coloured it. So this is on the this is the um this is on the the USB. How cool is that? Very. I love it. And I love this one. Again, got a frame for this one. This is well Diane's into like textures and, and media and um fabric craft and things and she actually knows how to thread her sewing machine. Respect. <laughs> and look how cool that I love that texture. Look at the butterflies wow. are. We've got a whole butterfly little section I'm going to put together because it's an amazing frame that um, Debbie created as well. And those gorgeous cards that um, Tracy made with the large and the small version again, which is amazing. Um, let me show you this, look. So Tracy has made this stunning card again because she can change the scale and everything. Isn't that gorgeous for a little girl? But look at what else she's done. She's made... 
paper, just printed cord out from the USB, made a backing cord. She's printed onto, I don't know how you've done this, you're going to have to tell me how you've done it. I'm thinking you might have stuck it to, oh, you know what, it's the Sumi paper. If you stick it to, got loads of tips, I need to come back to that. Um, anyway, that's the, printed it on the paper for the inside of the box. Wow. Look, so everything's coordinated and then look. beautiful present isn't that stunning gift yeah absolutely absolute keeper that one is fabulous keepsake all printed transferred printed from the from the usb with regular printers so what can't you do with it really i i stand corrected if i'd known this i might have thought of this a bit back but Amazing. Well, we've got the front. We anything else that we can yeah, pick up at the minute? Yeah, lovely Christmas stocking there. I like that. Oh, the stocking's incredible, isn't it? This is. Can I reach it? This is Debbie's um, again on fabric, and this is the Christmas off the page, which is the massive image. But again, Debbie's printed it, um, coloured it, and transferred it with the um, with the fabric transfer. That's beautiful. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Oh, what about Pamela's tree? Let me see if I can get it. Bear with. Oh yeah, this is. I've got to show you this. This is Pamela's tree. I've left it in there because I have to pack all these up again. But I want to pack them in groups so that when I get to the studio, because my first show's eight fifteen, <gasps> so I'll be there the night before setting up. But look, wow! Isn't that gorgeous? Actually, can you see the glitter in it? Yeah. That as well. Yeah. Difficult for the camera to pick up. Yeah. But... Can you get it if I tilt it a bit? Uh, it's kind of fine tuning with the light coming Is it? from the sky. Like. Right. Okay. But that's stunning. Isn't it amazing? Absolutely. So, steer it all from this USB. It's it's kind of like, you know when you talk about a show reel or a showcase? This is like being cards. Yeah, we, we do a bit of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's like they scared me this time. And they scare me normally, but this time it's like... Who are you people? And show this one as wow, well. show anything. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm going to try and move a minute to see if I can. Our brand new oh. girl. Oh, our new that. Boy, our little right. Hatchling. I have to say. Look at that. When you see this in real, it looks lit. It looks like it's all got its own light source. I wish I could use acrylics like you, lady. The stunning. that is stunning. Absolute cracker. Got to show you. Can I show you this as well? Ooh. Can I show you that? This is um, Sharon's card. I adore this. Look at how pretty that. If you want to talk pretty, that's just off the charts uber pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Sharon, well done. Super. And this is all packed up, so I'm not going to unpack it a minute, but it looks stunning. When you see it on the show, you'll have to see this. In, and again, by Sharon. I'm absolutely oh, I'm blown away by them. We've got the cards there, yeah, the butterflies. Yeah, so you'll see more. You can see there's stuff in piles. There's stuff I showed you last night. There's stuff to... But I just wanted to... Um, as they were here, I thought it would be perfect to... Before I pack them away, I'll show you. And these are great little pouches for like wedding favours or something like that. Aren't they? Oh, but... Diane's. They're, they're brilliant. Oh, look at the book cover she made. Look. So this is what Diane does. She loves fabric stuff. She made it paler deliberately because she wanted to look very washed out watercolour on the fabric. And then she's free motion embroidery, embroidered, not embroidered, she embroidered on that there thing. That'll be embroidered. Wow. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. It's a notebook, by the way. Um, yeah, just incredible. Yeah, we're going to have a hell of an eBay site, aren't we? <laughs> just kidding <laughs> just kidding um yeah amazing um i've got a question though here's a right i've got well i've got a problem well a few but i won't share them all with you we'll be, here. We'll be here all night yeah um so i've got i've got 45 minutes to launch this to get the concept across and maria and i've been discussing it normally when i do a show my mission is to get a demonstration um, as quickly in there and as much of a demonstration as I possibly can. And that's 
that's that's that's what I always do. With this show, I've got to try and showcase the samples, which are massively important. And when they're set out and the cameraman shows you, I don't get a chance to talk about them. The cameraman's more doing his thing and I'm not even, my mic's not on. I'm in the other side of the studio and, and I can't say, oh, that's done with that. Oh, and that's done with this and this is done with... So, well, kind of, they're lovely, but people don't know how they're done. Whereas before, we used to pick and flick and have your hands on them and say, look, this is rice paper that was printed out. Big tip is if you coat the base and, and I can talk you through the tips and all this lot. Um, so bear in mind, I've got, they're going to show you, the, they're going to introduce it, as they always do. They'll show you the big display. And then I've got a couple of boards that hopefully will explain stuff. And then it's going to come to me and I'll, I'm going to have to show you on the computer a couple of things. And by that time, they're not going to be much of the show left. Can you imagine? Because normally I'm using all the time I have to do, and I usually very rarely finish a card. So in that time, I'm thinking, what am I going to demonstrate hands-on in 45 minutes? Do I try a quick demonstration, which will basically be taking a pot off a, a lid off of some paint in that time? Or do I talk you through some of the techniques and some of the workarounds for using your printer at all. Using home. these as the examples. As the examples. So if I say about rice paper, things to do to make it so that the rice paper is water resistant and it's going to be the same as other rice papers you've used and ways to make it work better for you and ways to acetate, the two different kinds of acetate you're going to use in your printer and why you're using both and what you would do with them. Um, how to use the sumi paper within your printer because you know there's a trick trick to making it go through your printer and print okay um you know things like that things like um how to what card to use so that the ink is less likely to move when you add any water products to it all that kind of stuff would that be more useful to you than me coloring something in because i'm only going to get a chance to do a bit of coloring in on the show um that's me that's me quandary that's a big big thing let me know if you can feedback do you want explanation and talking through techniques or would you rather see your hands on more hands on if you can give me a heads up it'll give me an idea then how i can plan out the shows i'd appreciate it in mind we're going to do another facebook live yeah. tomorrow night too yeah which is going to be more hands-on demonstrating again the technique mm -hmm. so you're going to be getting that's what these are for yeah. is to show you and tonight i'm going to we're going to go through to the dining room and i'm going to show you on the laptop a couple of bits and pieces and talk to you about what you'll get if you've got a mac and what you'll get if you've got a pc and um so yeah there's all this outside of the show time so the you stuff get demo tonight yeah, it's like a demo. We're and gonna do a bit glittering. <gasps> and Sheena, we forgot the giveaway last night. So yeah, we've got, we've got to do two. two. Yeah, but one won't be ready because it'll just be a glittery mess. Just saying. Right. So shall we? Shall we move? Shall we, we go shall. and do something practical? Have you got any questions? I know you asked questions last night, and honestly, there were so many responses. When we first started doing the lives, we were responding to every single one. But then when we look, and we there's so many, we look through them, but I don't always get to respond to each one. I try, but there's tons of responses, so we, but we try our best. So um, shout in capitals, if you want to stay, if it's really important. And hopefully the team will pick up on it as well, because Debbie's fabulous and the rest of the team are usually trying to look out and see if there's any questions they can jump in on there and answer as yeah, well. We've got the team on as well tonight as they Thanks. always are. Thanks, so brilliant ladies. Brilliant. All right. So um, do you want to look at that while I stand up? Because I don't want everybody to see me trying to stand up. My, my legs have gone. It's, it's like assembly at school. Can you remember that? Parquet flooring. Cross legs. Cross legs. Oh, morning is broken and we plough the fields and scatter when it was autumn. <laughs> About this time of the year, I'd be ploughing the fields and scattering. And then you got to stand up and everybody fell over. Your legs were numb. Okay. Uh, a couple of people asked, could you explain about an iPad and that as well? Not now, but we'll yes. in the other room. Yes, let's do that in the other room. We'll go okay. techie in the other room. Oh, oh. Don't run. I'm keeping it as simple and as less tech speak as possible. It's like when people talk maths and numbers and oh, accounting people. 
and I just like look it's like and usually I end up just crying at them because oh, I just you're wasting you your time pencils? I don't know what you're talking about and colour pencils yeah right. so we're not going to do that so All I right. promise not to film you no film down there look yeah, at lovely yeah. bonny things as long as you help me up as well all right, yeah, go on. Yeah. Like, it's Ooh, yeah. Just, <laughs> me, just sitting on a low poof. Just sitting on the poof. <laughs> <Usually> <laughs> <time>. <laughs> <Morning> <laughs> <has> <laughs> <grown>. <laughs> like you, Nan. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. ow. Oh, ow. Hey, I am there standing. All right, ready, pet? Come hey, on. Hold on. Two, one, two, three. Hey, <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Really we could have just yeah, hello. Let's walk and talk. Am Let's I walking walk. backwards? You are walking backwards. Oh, I feel like I feel like a, a roving reporter. <laughs> have you seen the lead? Look, oh, you know, I'm not the most coordinated of people. Anybody who knows me knows this. Me and Darcy Bustle were not separated at birth. <laughs> <laughs> so come on. Come on. Come to me. What? Your Ribena glasses in Well, turn in it. Shop. Don't show them the Ribena glasses. What in your fish so ball of your water. Yeah, the no, fish ball. Oh, no, what are we this, gonna do? <laughs> this is post post Facebook live therapy. Yeah, look so, at me, look at the restraint. I'm walking straight, through, walk straight past. Walking through, walking through. <laughs> reversing. Reversing. <laughs> How many people walk and talk? I'm not I don't do multitasking. I have to keep remembering to breathe when I'm talking. We could go a little bit faster. Could, like, well, yeah. Got to get a bed well, you tomorrow. could, but I'm going backwards. <laughs> All right. Where you where you parking yourself, Cooper? On that seat. On that seat. <laughs> We're not going to do this often, people. <laughs> Let me get in there. Right. I'm getting dog. Who remembers Anthony? Oh yeah, she used to Anna run, Anna. run backwards, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. Jumping out of helicopters. Oh also. yeah. Each to their own, Maria. Each to their own. All right. That was a bit of an adrenaline rush for me, pet. That was as much as I want to go through. Right. Oh, whilst yeah. we're, well, we're sick whilst for a I minute. think of it, yeah. um, tell the lovely people about a teaser pencils. Yes, that's a good thing. Good. Yeah. Well, I ordered some because, you know, stupid money for these ones. And you don't even know if you're going to like colouring in. There was a balance. If you try rubbish to learn something... You haven't got a fair playing field. You haven't got a level. What is a level, level playing field? Yes. Thank you. And so you don't know. You know, it's going to work. You don't you know. know. Maria, I just don't know. You don't know. You don't Anything know. Anything could happen with a cheap product. You don't know. It could break. Oh, you could, you could, could cut no your, you could cut your upper, upper lip when you're just, I'll leave you for five minutes when you're doing a bit of crafting. I've that happened. I've had done that, not just me. That happened. Yeah, the other night, left her doing a bit of crafting. Come running in the bathroom. Oh, I'm bleeding! What? You sit and crafting, Sh shaking a, um, a tube of you know the, the dimensional paint, and shook it a bit too much, and literally looked like a Simpson. Da, da, da. Right, lip out here, bleeding. Had to get ice cube on and everything. Crafting. I'm anticipating a lot of crying faces now. Yeah. Oh, come here. Lot, oh. Lot. Oh, so anyway, so here's the thing. So, um, a lady mentioned Arteza, and I've seen them people lots of reviews. They keep coming up saying Arteza, and they get great reviews. So, I thought, right, you know what? I'm going to order some, and I'm going to let you know what I think of them. Not that that's the be all and end all, but I can't speak of anything unless I've tried it, unless I've had hands on, tried them myself. You can't recommend it, can you? You've got to, you've got to speak as you find. So um, I hope that we're going to come tonight, but it's going to be tomorrow. So by tomorrow night, hopefully, we'll have a bit of try with the Arteza because they're really inexpensive. I think I paid, um, well, you can get a 48 for 20 quid. And I'm saying that is just such a ridiculously good price. And I watched a, um, a, a lady I've been watching, a professional wild um, wildlife pencil artist she's really cool she's really good on um on uh, youtube and she is um she tried them and she rated them as a as a you know as a not as a um top artist quality because i'll tell you about this as well this light fast thing we'll talk about that tomorrow so that's that other thing ipads if you've got um either an ipad or a ipad pro you can get 
like for the iPad Pro, it's USB-C. So all you need to put a USB, now they've changed it, iOS 13, which is the operating system, the new operating system for Apple phones and iPads, right? They have now a file system. So you can go on like a computer and read files and move files onto your iPad. You didn't used to be able to do that. So you can get the USB and you, with, with the Pro, you get a little USB C, which is that little oval thing, to USB adapter, they're like five or something. And they're not, they're even less. I think I got about three for about six quid. I'll show you one tomorrow. I'll show you one. I'll show you with my iPad. And you plug it in, and then you plug your USB stick in there, and then you've got all the files on the USB, and you can use them with like a program called Procreate. If you're gonna buy a program for your iPad, or program, just get Procreate. It's what loads of professionals are using now. It's such an amazing program. So get that one. So that's how, And but if you've got the other iPad, just a regular iPad, you'll have what they call a lightning connector, which is the flat little bit that you plug in to charge you. It's the same port that you plug in to charge your iPad, but you can get an adapter for that as well. Just the same that you plug your USB in. Debbie's been doing that. That's how she's been using all of the files because, and then you just send them to your printer with, if you've got a Wi-Fi printer, I think these printers, these Canon ones are about 50 quid, 60 quid. And you've got a Wi-Fi printer that prints all the 300 GSM cord and everything. So it's doable if you're not got the full setup and everything. That's if you've got an iPad, of course. So, um, shall I show you on the, on the laptop a couple yeah. of bits? Any more questions? Uh, no, I'd just like to say there's lots of people have had little crafting accidents. We've had pokey oh. tools through fingers and thumbs. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. No, that's And there was lots of sympathy and crying faces. Oh. And for those of you that laughed, I know where you live, okay? I didn't laugh. Okay. It was terrible, Pet. Back to All being pink and fluffy and crafty. All right. Shall we look at this screen? Yes. All right. So, funny. look, it's a, it's a PC. I got a Mac and that's like, oh, I'm trying to work out like it's all kind of a bit wonky again. I keep forgetting how to, I borrowed this. This is Diane, she lent me this thing so I could, again, see the program. So I'm just saying, I am not, oh, here's a big, massive, massive thing. If you forget anything else, Minecraft Studio has got a Facebook group and they've got loads of stuff on there. So tuitions and there's, there's tutorials for everything you want to know. It's all on there. So if you want to know how to use Minecraft Studio, that is where I would go, definitely. So, right, so what I want to show you first of all is when you put your USB in your computer or, uh, yeah, yeah, your laptop, you'll get the files and it'll say something like, Sheena's Ultimate Volume 1, that kind of lock, right? Now in there as well, you will get the program files in here this is just the artwork, but you'll have a thing that also says Minecraft Studio and it'll show you how to install it. I'll try to put that on to show you that as well. But it's already installed on this. Okay, you with me? Mm -hmm. So if you, but if you've got a Mac, this is what the bit you'll be looking at anyway. You don't, you don't need the Minecraft Studio. That's something that you won't, won't run on your Mac, but this will just be the same. You'll have little folders with the names on it, just the same. There's a big folder that says artwork and there's a little folder that says like Minecraft Studio program. Okay. Leave that one alone because that's what you would open if you wanted to install that and do all that. But this is what you're paying for, this here. So if you look, you've got Garden of Treasures. That was stamps, dies, charismas. It's also full on rice papers now as well, which have added to there. Baby blessings, you couldn't get that. We were sold out in a stupid time. Christmas off the page, but that's also um, perspectives, Christmas perspectives. Define the line, What? well, you know what, I'm just gonna show you. Let's start with Garden of Treasures. So if you look in here, you've got, it says Charisma. Ooh, that's Charisma for that one. So in the past, my Charisma's been on in a, in a book, yeah? But Charisma, fabulous, we've got Charisma on there, and I'll show you what we can do with that in a minute. Digital stamps, we'll look at that in a sec, and printable papers. Mm. Wow. Let's look at, for example, digital stamps for this one. So there's four. These would have been A5 A stamp sheets. Celebrate life beauties, life in blue, full bloom, life in full colour, unlocking life's beauty. 
If we look at, um, let's look at Life in Full Bloom. If you open that, you've got all of these in here, which are your separate stamps. So, and also backing papers, which are new that have been put together for you. So you can see that if I put, let me save you. Let's change this. Let's so, and remember, it's coming back to us. Windows is coming back to me, Maria. Yay. That's easier. If you want to browse in there and you want to see it easier, just go to view and, and click that extra large icons, yeah? So you can see all of these here are digi stamps, so to color in. New things, this is a whole background there that you can just put some word in the middle, that on acetate and then colored on the reverse side, stunning, parchment, amazing. So if, say, we want to, this one here, look, full, mega, you want to do a full backing paper like that, you want to color it in yourself. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say print because there's no other graphics program on here, it won't link it with anything. So can you see here, this is the kind of options you'll get with your printer. That says full page photo. All you do is say, click, print it, that's it, you're done, boom, all right? What about if you want it smaller? Click to that there, look, it's gone half the size, so that's gonna be in like A5 now. A Little bit less because of the, if your printer doesn't do borderless, it'll leave a little border. But what about, you want two on a page, so you don't wanna just print and have a blank bit there. Oh, there you go, two of them for you. Wow. Okay. And then there's other formats set that you don't have to mess around with. You want them smaller again? There you go. A little bit just above E6 kind of size. If you want to do that, you're going to click on 4. And you can get 4 on a page. So anything you want, you can scale that. That's without using a graphics program. That's just send your printer. Click on it. Go to your printer. With a Mac, that's what I can do as well. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I can print anything I want out just like that. So that's the first thing I want to show you. Let me show you um, if we look at, so each one, it's got its own stamps in there. Wow, you see, I wish you could put that as a default view. Right, there you go, that Magnolia stamp, I just love that. You see, there's cards put together, so if you just want to print out a composition there, you've got that. Um, and that, again, a little card, little put together there for you. And, but if you look in here, this is just one folder, by the way printable papers oh right don't click on anything else i'm going to change the angle here so people okay. can see it perhaps a little better can you just hold that for a uh -huh. second nice and steady you're going to sit behind me no yeah. i'm going to sit at the side of you so oh Ooh, it's scary we'll get more just... of a yeah oh that's one cheek on there one cheek oh. on there i'm good to go all right thank you all very right. much there we go right so i'm trying to do this as but wait like virtually she's sitting on me name ow <laughs> oh, dead leg. Right, so we've got all these back in. These are rice paper. So these are layered, created and um, by myself and lovely Debbie worked on these together for you. So if you just print these out as they are, you've got fabulous rice papers or card, pattern card or just coloured whatever you want. But they look amazing. The idea was to print them onto the Sumi paper. So that, and he would do exactly the same with that. So if you wanted, say, um, like the bird, right? If you wanted the bird and you wanted to um, print the bird, but you wanted it smaller, then you can go, oh, let's, let's do that one. But we'll see, we'll have four on a sheet like that. There you go. And a little like, no, this also make gorgeous little, um, Cards, you know, like little notebook cards for people. Nice yeah, so gift. you can like multi craft. Can't Absolutely. You? Batch so, make. Is that batch right? make. Absolutely. Um, getting the hang of this. Yeah, well, yeah. So that's Garden of Treasures. We've got Baby Blessings. Yeah, bring that one up. I like Baby Blessings. Yeah. Um, um, My New World. Baby Blessings is really sweet too. So you've got all your christening and your baptism things. And just someone I put that. Yeah, look. So here, what, what I did here was. Where's the view again? With this one, you see that was a stamp there. For those of you who've got it, you'll know that's a stamp, this one here. Uh -huh. And as is the baby's head in the other one, and as is the font. But what I've done is I've, I've layered them up for you. So you've got a composition. So if you want to make that oh, a big piece of wall art. overlaid it. I've overlaid it, yeah. Whoa. And you want to, that would, um, yeah, again, saves you stamping, masking, oh, print it yeah, out, and you've, you've done, done it there, haven't and you? And then, of course, you can, yeah. And you can do it any size you want. Yeah. Yeah, the baby's head and. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's my finger. Where we get that one there? There. Can you see it better there? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. 
see so this is the one um that um diane colored in and um and lisa so that's that's that one there um then we've got um mum and me so again loads in here and again made to um look so that you can print them out for cards so the giraffe separators so we just got one giraffe if you want to do that and then you've got see always aim high you've got a card printed out and a one there just to print out so if you want to just um you know click and print them so that's we'll come to another one uh, Christmas off the page so this one was the very first oh look I shouldn't mention this you've got inserts you know those inserts that were um, printed and you bought for the so you would want bigger I would probably I don't know you could do that print them and have a small for a smaller card or print half of them and join them up kind of thing you know on a, on a better bigger bit of card um, so they're all poor, like original little verses by Maria and Debbie with all the hand, the watercoloured, um, I gave those away on the show, some of them on the way, on the show first shows actually by yours truly. Um, yeah, you went and got that out of the garden, that one, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so digital stamps in there. We've got off the page, um, deck the tree, festive florals. So in here, you've got your extra large and of course the little baby things can be big things so you could make a, a stencil with that snowflake um you know if you wanted to do that you could make a stencil with the with the swirls if you wanted to cut yourself a stencil with that and the wording and the wording yeah absolutely and then look mirrored these ones look see how this is it's the festive floral that but mirrored and then mirrored again so you get a full kind of mandala type thing to color in there can you see that all right yep so that's another one. So it, it's, it's what you had, but so much more too. I love this one. Oh, I, Cozy and Warm's my favourite. I love this one. So what we've got here is, um, again, you've got the the stag, the clouds. The, oh, this is exactly what we're talking about making the scene with because you've got that fence. That fence now could be massive in the foreground and then it can be repeated and made little in the background and you can change the angle of it. You can play around with that. You can... So you can have the perspective changed completely. This could be a huge, just single tree with, what you can do as well, here's the thing. You could even ink up a background with just director paper, textures, do anything. And as long as it's not got bits falling off it, you could then put it through your printer when it's dry and print the tree on it in black and it'll look blacker than it would if you'd stamped it. And we can play with this afterwards as well, can't we? Because uh, you know we've got support going on oh, here. Oh, absolutely! Because we? we are, In we've been learning as we, as we can go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then look, there's another card put together for you. That's the one that um, Sharon did, and it's stunning. So, right, I'm going to pick up the. Oh, I've got to show you the cozy and warm perspectives because this, I love this card. Oh, you know what? This is not the one with the. There's another folder that isn't on here to show you, and I need to show you. And it's got all the pre-done cards for you i'll show you them in a minute but like um let me show you here the extra large icons like for example i've put together the window which is on its side here with the elves feet in front of it with other things on it so it's the whole composition i mean look at that card there though isn't that a great card just to you know click and print and color mm -hmm. and then I'm, I'm having an elfy rest i've got that one printed out we may do a bit of glittering on that one if i pick this up um, all right, so we've got define the line. I love this one. This might be this. This is probably my um, my favorite of all of the maybe one of my favorite images ever. And this was Karen's lion. Yes, Karen, um, a friend. Karen is a um, keen photographer, isn't she? And she actually pays to go into wildlife places uh, that are also like you know saving the animals, doesn't mm -hmm, she? Mm -hmm. And get up close and personal, being able to photograph them. And this guy here was on the top of his den, and um, he didn't have his dreads in his hair. I put them in his hair, but it was a more of a full like kind of more of him showing. But I just thought his face was the angle was fabulous. He looked so regal and strong and amazing and i thought because he's like um you know like a, the king of the of the but a cool king you know and yeah. um, but like you know like of the earth of the planet uh, he's got his beads there and he's all about he's got the strength there if he needs it but he doesn't want to use it not about that 
He's cool, isn't he? I love him. So this is Define the Line. Um, let me see what else. Enchanted Butterfly. This is the one that... Um, uh, let me see. Extra large eye. That Tracy's made those amazing cards with because that on the acetate and heated and then overlaid, amazing. Um, this here, I love this. This is another little extra one. See, that you couldn't do with your stamp. You can isolate that. Mm -hmm. But because it was digital, we've managed, we've done that for you. So we've taken the butterfly away and given you that little combination, that thing there that wasn't a stamp, didn't exist as a stamp, but now it, it does. That's what I made for Madeline's card. It is absolutely it? what you made, yeah, yeah, and she loves it. So we'll go into another one, but there's loads in that, all those ones there. Flowers of Britain. Now this has got your charisma in it. So you've got all the charismas that you had for your Flowers of Britain. And we'll have a little bit of play with changing the colour of those in a minute. Okay? So they're just print. And if you click and print, like, you know, we did at the front or anything you do, as long as it's on an A4 sheet and you click it and don't scale it, it's an option that it'll give you, but so don't do it. They're exactly the size of your dies. So those of you who've got these collections, it's not a case of I've got them, I don't need them. Yeah, you do, because look at what else you can do with them. Change the colours and things, but you've got a limitless supply of them now. You just print them out and print them onto different papers makes a huge difference too. But they're exactly the size for your stamps. Then we've got um, backing papers in here as well. These were the backing papers. These actually were backing papers that I inked up and um, did with real ink with salt and different techniques and things just to print up there. And you can just stretch those onto E4 if you want. doesn't need to be square. Um, right, garden sketchbook. So these are the ones that I actually did old school in a sketchbook. And I've got the sketchbook. I remember to take that to the show to show you. So Cooper's garden is Maria's dad's garden. Well, her mum and dad's garden, but mostly her dad's just had a fish pond on. He's loving it, isn't he? Yeah. He's got his fish. Like his boy. He's got names for them now. His little goldfish. <laughs> come his on, babies. son. <laughs> come on, pet. Come on. And he'll, he'll come swimming up to him for their breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so these are all original pencils and then ink sketches in the sketchbook from the garden and this is this is colin's birdhouse which i made pretty i just have these lovely roses drawn up i, I put them on from I, I pretty it up a bit but um again there's another combination there and this combination didn't exist with the little bird and the flowers they were separate and um so yeah there's the little jenny wren so we said love the little jenny wren that's her separate but of course because it's digital we've flipped it put it right and then matched it up with this little clematis so now she's got all the little flowers around her too and the country walk so this is the one that um diane has done that and um fabulous thistle and bee this look amazing this was drawn big and oh the fun you could have with that with splashing paint in it and everything um have i tried watercolor prints on inkjet yes and it's fine especially if you use the watercolor card heat set it let them dry overnight you can get a fixative spray that you really just need the lightest spray on as well if you want to make sure as well. But the, the what you'll see, the print, the team have printed have been on just, they're not laser prints, the water, the inkjet prints that they've coloured in. So that is 100% what they've done. So you can see it in real life. Um, and these are cards again that you can just print out and, and use. Let me see. Is this all right for you? Still there? Still enjoying it? I'm hoping we've still got people, have we? still got people yay we like people right so this one again this is the um midnight magic so this is all about the the enchanted little meadow where you know there's nighttime and daytime at nighttime you've got the little kitten playing with the moth and you've got the lanterns and this is a new combination i put together with the lantern against that backdrop so that'll look magical painted and that would look great as a piece of wall art big bit of wall art and Again, all those things. So that's the paper that Tracy made the backing paper with. In fact, that's it there. She printed that out and played around with it and got that amazing backing paper. Then you've got Midsummer Magic. This is, um, let me quick look at that one. Show you through there quickly. And moving on. Right, and then lastly, quick but cool Christmas. So these ones, these ones are just gonna, they'll get out of jail for your Christmas cards, seriously. Um, let's just look at one of them, because if you need to do some quick cards, 
the idea with these is they're very graphic, very little colouring in to do. They were quick hit Christmas cards. And so, like for example, you print that out on your acetate, uh, you heat your inkjet printable acetate and turn it over and put a bit of glitter on here on the reverse side, glitter there, bit of glitter around the lights, boom, brads on the thing against the white background, you're done. Same with the socks one, or you can just print it out onto glossy photo card, put a bit of glitter on there, any card, willow card, then colour it in with your pens, the bits that are left in between with your pens or whatever you want to colour them in with. And you've got quick cards, then you've got cool backing papers too, and then you've got Santa Paul's there. <laughs> Just this cute knee. <laughs> so yeah, that is a quick look around the stuff. So forget the Minecraft Studio if you've got a Mac, because that's what you paint. That's the big deal. This is the big deal. Eight full collections. However, I'm going to show you quickly a couple of things you can do with Minecraft Studio if you've got a PC. When's the show? The shows are on Friday. And yeah, and how much it is, should I tell you? Da, 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 I know how much it is. And I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Eight full collections. Some of them over £100 per collection. A few of them, actually, because there's dyes and things like that. Mm -hmm. £34.99. For the USB? For the USB. With everything on it? With everything, including Minecraft Studio. Including the file I haven't shown you where I've put things, cards together. I'll show you in a sec. That you just click and print out. So I added extra to you, extra for you. I wanted you to get just the value. You know, it's a thank you. It's like, seriously, thank you for buying the original Rangers. And this is my, like, you know. Well, here's the thing. We got chatting with as a team, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And a lot of the Rangers were sold out and people mm -hmm. were begging us to bring yeah. them back. Yeah. And we couldn't. It's not within our control. No, absolutely not. But we found a way of doing it. Absolutely we listen yeah we do what we can we do you know we're with you we're there with you and we very much appreciate you being there with us so what we've got here this is my craft this my craft studio and that was not familiar to me at all i'm still learning my way around it um there's still more more to learn and do than i you know i'm, I'm still getting there but here's what you do if you look here this is the main this is the main thing here this bit here first thing to do is check that this is e4 and to do that if you go to See where it says print on the top tabs, there's tabs along the top. But this is all, I'm not going to labour this, I'm just going to show you quickly. Well, if you click on the print bit and it says uh, page size, if you click on there, it's got all standard format page sizes in there. So if you know your printer is going to print out A4, most of the card we put through is A4, isn't it? So you want to fit as much as you can on that. I think it's, it's different in the, in the, in the in States. In the US, it's there's legal letter. or something, isn't letter. it? It's letter. It's letter, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's letter size. So you guys will put the letter on there, uh -huh. yeah? Uh -huh. So that's what you want to click on there. Then I always like to click home. I like, I make Dorothy, I click my heels and I'm home. And you go home. There's no place like home. There's no place, There's no like, place like, home. like home. Yeah. So there I am home. So now what I'm going to do is in here, in this little bit here where you've got other things going on, tabs, right? There's things behind tabs. And you are looking in here and it says, Sheena's Ultimate Volume 1. So I'm going to click on that, open, and there's all the stuff that we're looking at. Now I know in Garden of Treasures, there's some digital stamps and there's charisma. So we'll just start with the charisma. Let me show you. Let's pick a charisma. Let's go with this charisma here. So if you click, can you see your files appear down there? See? Files, da 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 they're all there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, all I do is left click on my mouse to grab it, and then I go like that and go, well, there you go. Thank you very much. I'm going to put you over there. And line it up on the page and you know that you can do something with this when these little squares are when you can see them i'm not going to see active it's just when you see little squares around them you can do stuff to that if i click anywhere else at your desktop this is like your me table and if this was me table it'd be covered in a load of rubbish All right you can lay stuff just on the table as well extra if you want to have that line on the table you can lie that there and put it over there and go i'll come to that in a minute but we don't want to so i'm just going to hit delete on me board so this here Click to the bit, uh, sorry, point to the bit that on the screen, would you? Uh, yes, sorry, okay. So this is what we're looking at, this is yep. about here. Yeah. Cool. So what I'm going to do is, I've got that on there, I want to play around with it a bit, all right? So I'm going to, just this scroll, this mouse, no, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit using this, right? So you can just see a little bit clearer. And if you want to zoom in with your mouse, it's at the left and the right here. 
if it's not a laptop, you can zoom in or out. And that's down the bottom. The bottom. Point yeah. to where there you mean. Go. Down here. See? Uh -huh. Down there? Yeah. Wow, like that. Okay. Little slider. Little slider. Yeah. So they're the colours. If you print them out, they'll be the colours you bought to go with this set if you bought the charismas. Yeah? Yeah. They'll print out as they were. And they print out and different papers you print on will give you different results and even if it's the same ink you don't change it they look different i've got a board to show you that on the show i showed you a bit last night when during the fuzzy moments though so if you want to change them all right if you go to effects click on this you see we had files there sorry maria that files there yeah mm -hmm. then i went to click and i went to click on all oh, effects yeah right mm -hmm. No, it doesn't work on Mac. That's just why I was showing you those files in the beginning. There's other programs you might have on your Mac. There's free software you can get. There's one called GIMP, G-I-M-P, and it's free, and loads of people rate it. And it's a it's a free thing that you can do this kind of thing in as well. There's, if you've got Photoshop, that's what I've got on the Mac because it's the professional stuff I need to use. But if you've got an adapter, then you can import. You can't, but you still won't run Minecraft Studio. No, it won't run Minecraft Studio, but, but you, you can import it from the USB all of these files. Onto your iPad as well. Onto the iPad also. Yeah. So Amazing. it can still be done if you've got a Mac. What we'll do is we'll, we'll list it. I think we need to take this out and put it on a little file or something in the on the Facebook page or the enquetes because I want you to use this. I want you to know how to use this. I don't want to spend my life here. I want to spend my life as I normally do, hands-on, putting stuff together, painting it, getting messy, doing all that. This is a, this is a means to an end here. Uh -huh. So I want this to be as easy and streamlined. If there's stuff in here you never look at, that's fine. Look at it someday, whenever, maybe, whenever, who, where, what. But I'll show you the main bits that you need to get the good stuff out. How does that sound? So if you look at here, if you click on this again, you see the little arrows, the little boxes appear around yep. it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to, see where it says hue, rainbow and saturation. Yep. What saturation does, that basically makes the colour stronger or paler. So if you go like that, look. Whoa, glorious technicolour. Errol Flynn and everything, right? So I'm going to put it back to roughly where it was, right? Oh, I can take it down though, look. Whoa, it's going like monochrome. But you might want it barely showing, so it's just a tint. Looks like it's just water filled. Or you might want it all just, what about a monochrome card? You could have a suggestion of colour and then paint over. You could do that yourself. You if guide. you print yeah. that onto your watercolour card, you could spot colour over the top of it. That's the thing. It's hybrid crafting more than I'm looking at. Is there such a thing as hybrid crafting? If it's not, I've just invented it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your, that's your stuff there, right? Now, the other thing you can do is hue. Hue is going to change. Look, can you see the colours changing? But everything changes. But my favourite, right? Oh, look at that. What's that lovely? It's like Delft, isn't it? Wow. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Look, you see how it's gone from turquoise kind of colour to bluey colour, then it'll go purple, then it'll go pinky purple. Wow. Okay, and then it goes to back around to Going the rest. Colour wheel. Colour wheel, absolutely. But this is the one I love. This is rainbow. Rainbow keeps more of the green in it. So even so you see it changing. So if you small changes are really cool because look that's the original watch it'll go slightly more yellowy can you see see uh -huh. it's gone a bit more cooler now we're going to and some of them will work some of them won't work that's not working for me i'm not loving it i'm not feeling it but there i'm getting there look i'm getting better here i'm liking this look you got your pink roses they look a bit strange but when they're cut out they look really lovely that'll look super gorgeous layered up then we're coming back, getting closer to where we started, but on the other side where it's go a cooler pink, completely different to where we started. And what you do is if you can save these where they're at. So if you really like that, this is more where we started, but we really liked, I really like that there. I think that's lovely. I could save that there, name it, and I can call it Pinky Blue Roses. And I could it. sing a rainbow. So I'm not going to show you any more than that at the minute. Rainbow. Is that, is that, do you want me to show you anything else on the computer? No, they want us to sing and they want to see oh. you do a little demo. All right. And they want some giveaways. All right. Right, we're going to leave Size that Size adjustment. Okay. Size adjustment. Size adjustment, yeah. All right. 
So size adjustment, I'm going to zoom out, right, zoom out, and I'm going to take this little box here. Which little box? On the corner, there? any of the corners, any oh, of the corners. Yeah. Right? Yep. And then here we go, do that, and then I might do that, right? Turn it around. And I might do that, and I go, oh, I want a couple of them, little baby didn't teensy weensy ones, I might as well make them so they'll fit on the page and that'll be much better because I don't mind cutting out. They're not going to fit your dies, but you can cut them out, right? Uh -huh. But then I go, let's do two of them. So you see on the top here, I'm looking up here, it says copy. Can you see that? Copy, yep. So if you click copy and then I go, oh, paste. You always get copy and paste. It's like, it's like hinge and bracket, ant and deck, zig and zag. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. It could be the double, co double co copy and paste. Look. So it pops it over so the, the top, top and you just drag it down. Uh huh. And then you might want that one a little bit littler. You might go, all right, I have a little teeny weeny little one. Oh, and I might even do that. Whoa. Right. And make it really, really inty bency teeny weeny. So you could copy and paste that one. And I could copy and paste. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. All right. And, and, and put I got it next that. To it. Yay. Yay. Bom, bom, bom. So even just that, without getting really. Um, can I take one image from those? Yes, I can. I can. There's a few ways I can do it. I can crop it. I can go around it and crop it. And I can, um, we can erase part of it. Well, I'll show you this. Yeah, let me show you. I, uh, select. I can't remember how to do this. Give me a minute. You can do it. I need to zoom in. Right, so what you would do is you would draw a um let me think i want to select all there's a crop i'll have to look this up for you but you absolutely can because what you do is you just isolate one and crop it and do it like that and then you can tile it there's loads you can do with this yeah absolutely getting into the advanced with, yeah well, and a little bit more advanced yeah, anyway. yeah yeah and we can cover it in a different another thing. tutorial think of what you want to know and then then i'll show you and you can overlay one thing onto the other as well and group things and do your own arrangements and all that lock as yeah. well once you do that this it's massive this program like i said i've learned so much that you can do with it i can show you a quick thing on how to make a funky rice paper if you want we won't Oh, yes, see, we need to move on no, to do something. I think something. move on and do some. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll shut this and then we'll do that. Right. So that's a basic introduction. Okay. And we have another show tomorrow, but certainly after the TV shows and you've got your bits and bobs at home and your USB, if you've purchased any, then we'll certainly revisit and do some more tutorials. We're not going to leave you high and dry. Absolutely not. Because like I say, even if you just click and print, you can do this kind of thing. So what I've got here, I have printed onto printable inkjet um, acetate. And you'll, what normally has is has a little sticker on. This one had a little strip on it on one side and that to let you know that that's the side you print on. But um, it's really easy to tell because one side's shiny, shiny, the one's got like a little kind of grittiness to it. Uh -huh. All right. So that's the side you print on, but I'm going to glitter on the reverse side. So what time do we have here? It's eight o'clock. So this might take quite a while to do. Would you like a bauble or a feather? Give us a thumbs up for a bauble and a heart for a feather. I would do this one, Please. but I think we're going to, we might do that with it using maybe starlights and glitter because it's just going to take a little bit longer to do. And it is a bit more of a time consuming process. It's just really simple just to show you the technique, but there are things to know about doing it. Bauble or feather? I should try both. Let's do both. Well, Let's start with a bauble. I bauble. think I know the answer. <laughs> Let's go with a bauble. Let's start Let's with a bauble. Do both. So the first thing is, is really make sure you turn it over. You don't want to mess with the printed side. All right? Uh -huh. You don't want to mess with that side. It's this side you're going to work on. So we're doing stuff the on the back. The smooth side, yes. And a good glue is really important. Um, I had that little uh, glue applicator I used, and if that's what you've got, that's great. But this is the ultimate. This, my whole... Um, demonstrating kind of professional life other than what she's doing demonstrating a shop and doing a few couple of workshops was spent in Jean Nestorenko's living room laughing like you wouldn't believe splitting my sides laughing because we had this exactly the same sense of humor and um, we had days of glittering medallions 
and on acetate and we, this is the glue Jane always used and this is the glue that if you want to use the best glue for glycerin onto the back of acetate this is the glue I love it's not the cheapest um, and you've got to buy the nib separately but it's great glue all right and this is I know this because in my mind the glitter master isn't always will be Jane because she glittered like nobody young Chloe though I tell you what respect to young Chloe for oh, that's a new batch of glitter meisters there <laughs> this what worries me here is I'm gonna have this all over the house before I do anything I'm gonna pick out colors and I'm gonna tell you <coughs> what, what Jane told me I want this I think I'm gonna do fiery red I'm gonna but I'm gonna use different colors in the back in the day we used art Institute glitters which are really small ones and come in loads of shades and themes and things but um, I'm gonna use you know what I don't want to use that one of this pink purple Let's use, maybe this one's got, this one's got a little bit more. Ooh, right, I'm gonna use a, that one. I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use that one. We'll do it pink. Oh no, sorry, sorry. I'm making up my mind. I really want these, I'm doing them. We'll come back to them. They're the three I'm gonna use. A dark, a medium, and a light, okay? Thank you, people. What do people say thank you for? Bless you. Bless you, all right. I've got three colors now. Always, and Jane told me that, we're going to do a blend of these colours, but always start with your darkest colour first. Because when you're glittering, your glue might still be wet if you use this one first, for example, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go in and you put that one on and absolutely bits of that glitter is going to find a bit of glue that has is exposed and it's going to lodge into that, all right? And you'll see it, it'll stick out like a sore thumb. If it's the other way around, a little bit of the lighter one goes in the darker one, you're not even know it's there. So it's the opposite to what we normally do. You're going to start dark. So I'm going to see that this is working. There was one time we were glittering and it was really hot. And these were like little volcanoes, like Vesuvius. We couldn't stop them coming out because of the heat in our living room. <laughs> they were, we were like, really? Seriously? Yeah, that. it was like <laughs> completely like, yeah. So I'm going to take, I don't want to sprinkle little bits out. I want to throw plenty of glitter on here. And I'm actually going to be brave and take the lids off them, the three of them. We knew you'd ask, so we asked uh -huh. for you today. And we've had it confirmed this afternoon, as late as quarter to five, I think it was, uh -huh. that your heated acetate, Heat resistant acetate, what yes, is it? heat resistant acetate. No, yes. no, printable acetate, printable acetate, excuse me. Yeah, will be on the show. I wonder if I can get heat resistant added as well. I might ask I about don't know. that. Let's ask. Yeah, why not just you know do everybody's head in completely? But yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm squeezing very gently and I'm using a um, light, uh, I'm using the nib against the acetate and I'm just spreading the glue out. I don't want this an inch thick because you don't need it that thick. So spread the glue, spread what's on there. You don't want air bubbles either, that's important because when you get an air bubble, you get it not sticking. Don't do too much ahead, right? I'll show you what I mean. So I'll do this bit here because even though it still looks wet because acrylic glue, this is dries clear by the way, don't get the dries white. If you do the dries white on acetate, you'll always just have white showing through your acetate. It's gotta be dries clear. And I'm going right up to the line because it does tend to shrink back a little bit. So go right up the line. Don't worry about going over the detail because you'll still see that. Because we're going to look at it through the other side. This is like easy glittering. This is on acetate. So bring it, drag it out a little bit. And then this is the dark colour. This is where I want a bit of shadow on this. And I'm going to do under there too. When you finish, could you show us the glue again? Please? Yep, surely will. And can we have a whole load of hearts, please, for Joyce Connolly, who's just joined the Inkets? Yay, well done, Joyce. It's a lovely group, isn't it? A lovely group, everybody. Inkets is where Sheena and all of the design team hang out together with quite a few thousand other people. Yeah, and it's very supportive. We've got no nastiness and no, it's all about the love that's yeah. been shown for you already, Joyce. Yeah. We share all the tips in there. Ooh, Ooh I like it pretty, already. Pretty, isn't it lovely? But it looks rubbish from the other side. Tomorrow, you'll have to come back because it's a cliffhanger. You're not going to see what it looks like tonight because it needs to dry overnight uh, to see the glitter showing through the other side. Okay. So that's the darker colour. 
And the glue, please. And the glue is the dry clear version art, of this. Art Institute it is. If you put Art Institute glue. Art glitter, does that say? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Art glitter glue. Dry okay. clear. Now what I'm going to do this time, Maria, I'm going into that little bit I've just done and swirling it a little bit, mixing it up and blurring the edges, okay? Because it's kind of like when I'm using paint and I want one colour to merge into the other colour a little bit. So like blending? Yeah, like blending. So dragging that little bit out there and then putting the glue like this. So I'm kind of contouring this bauble here, okay? Do you think we should, I think we should welcome Joyce a bit more. Welcome Joyce a bit more. Welcome home, welcome, come on in and close the door, you've been gone too long. What comes next? You're home once more. <laughs> Were you wearing the polyester suit or the frock? Yeah. Maria. You're the one in the dark glasses. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what I've done is I've, I've gone in a little bit there so that we've got a little bit of um, uh, colour coming up across some of those. Well, I don't know what it's going to look like, but we'll find out. I'll pop that there. So for those of you that don't know what we're singing or talking about, <laughs> it's Sheena's got a group called Sheena's Inkets. Yes. So just search on Facebook and you'll find us. Come and join the family. Absolutely. And it's a fabulous group. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a great group. So you can sort of see the blend. Can you see from the dark red to the rusty red there? Do you know, Sheena, I can. Can you? I That's can. Absolutely. Tickety bloody blue boo then, Maria. <gasps> you swore. Well, I know. I can. I can't do it on the telly. You can't do it on the telly. Don't like it. Although sometimes you say the odd word and it does come out wrong. And sometimes it sounds like it. I think, was that one show I didn't? He said, oh, did you say? I went, no, I didn't. He, no, I'm a good girl, I am. Oh, it's gone quiet. Hasn't yeah. it gone quiet? Yeah. So look, I'm dragging this through here. I'm maintaining those little lines that were still left there. Just pushing the glue around, resting the glue on the acetate because it makes it easier. You don't have to have the mega steady hand then. Making sure there's no area left unglued because you want that, you want everything covered. And we can check that on the other side in a minute. Okay, I think we're still rejoicing with Joy, Joyce at the moment. Uh-huh, what are we, we singing now? Well, Debbie suggested. Uh-huh. We are family. I got all my sisters with me. And brothers. Yeah. <laughs> right, so we've got that there. Now I'm going to go in with this gold colour. And this should provide a highlight in the middle. All being well. Oh, now look, see at the back there. If you hold it up, can you see? Oh no, light showing through. This needs to be closed up here. Yeah. So we need to look at where it is and just do a little... Extra swirly swirl. You don't want the glue running everywhere here. You just want to look for those little bits and fill them in if you can. Chucking it down at Jane's house. Is it? We're crafting in the rain. Just crafting in the rain. What a glorious feeling. We're crafting again. Right, so... I've got that there. Now we can do the tassels and work out what we can do with the tassels. Well, I've got black, haven't I? Black would look good I'm wearing that band in the middle. So the tassels, I'm going to do the tassels. I'm going to contour the colour in the tassels again. I'm going to do dark here. Christmas time. I'm not going to do black in there because it will go in where I don't want it. I'm going to do that there. I'm going to do dark there. Like that. Locks on the fire. That's going to be the dark red. You really don't want to smudge this once you've done it. You need to put it somewhere safe or you will cry. Cats 
Wales on the holly boggles in North Wales. Ah, are you having a nice time, Kath? Because it's not raining. That's good. That's We're a bonus. talking about going on holiday to North Wales. I used to yeah. go there when I was a kid. And I'm threatening to take Sheena back. Yeah, I want to go. around all my old haunts, around Bala Lake. I would love to go. And Harlick Castle. Lovely. I'm just going to do this gold here. Or castle, as you call the it. Castle. Yeah, we do castles up north. Whose birthday Got is it, Lisa? Lisa of the design team. Not Lisa's oh, birthday. Oh, Lillian, is it your birthday? Right. Okay, okay. Now, I could glitter that with black, but I'll leave that and do that because I don't want to put black glitter on because the black glitter will absolutely find somewhere it shouldn't be. A little bit here that needs to go in, in and that was with the uh, dark red. Sheena. Yes. It's Lillian's birthday. Is it? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lillian. Lillian. Happy, happy birthday, happy, birth, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, 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 you. There you go. Oh, Hope you enjoyed that. Wasn't it's it? lovely, isn't it? Wow, yeah. much like that bauble. Well, it is a Bobby Dazzler, isn't it? Look at that. It is a Bobby Dazzler. Wow. So what's going to happen is, right, they're, they're, they're laughing at us. I know. Oh, <laughs> I put my heart and soul in that. So, so See this little band here, I want to do Practiced that black glitter, but not going to do it till this is dry, all right? So by tomorrow night, when you come back, we'll be able to turn it around and go, wow! But at the minute, oh, it's all you're seeing. That's all going to dry clear, and all that blingy gorgeousness is going to show through that side. Uh -huh. That's the technique of glittering onto your asymmetate. Do you know, I've never done that, and I've never seen it done. Have you not? There's no. a there's a simple way to do it, but then there's the more kind of like, oh, a bit advanced, a bit of blending, and that was what we did back in the day. Oh, with bless the... her. Lillian says we're like a heavenly choir. We, oh, yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Mm. Something very large stood on their foot, that heavenly choir. I yeah, think. really, I think so. <laughs> um, so do you want to do a, another one, or should we... Leave that to dry and Thumbs do something else Thumbs up if you'd like another one, or if you just had enough. Yeah, I mean, if you need to go. <laughs> we understand. I want to do a workshop with Sheena. I'll tell you <laughs> what, Sheena and Maria want to do workshops. Yeah, we do. We're planning... Oh, I've lost me pin, Maria. Oh, yeah. No, nobody move. Nobody move. No, you at home, don't go anywhere. Oh, this is as nobody as contact move. lens, isn't it? Oh, it's worse, Maria. It's me pin. My pin is essential because if I don't put my pin in the end, it'll dry up. Oh, seriously. Right, you've lost us now. I'm just I'm just focused on my pin. Oh, we'll have to get the full lights on. I'll have to get me. Right. Where did the go? I literally just took it out of the thing, didn't I? And it and did. then it's gone. Oh, I'm no. sure of that. Oh man. We got somebody on here, I just want to uh -huh. say. Yeah. We got somebody on here tonight who keeps on sending us nasty, angry faces. Really? But I'd just like to say to them, thank you for sitting through this whole demonstration. Oh, and, and suffering with it. Us. Well, yeah, because, you know. With us, Sheena, but, yeah, but, but if I it's making say, you so sad. I want everybody to just share the love because I yeah, think Yeah, go on, give sad. them a bit of so love. So can we give a big old flurry of hearts to that lovely person who's giving us angry faces? Yeah, you need a bit of love sad. in their life. It is sad. Well, I wouldn't sit through something I hated, would no, you? No, I wouldn't. I think it's sad. Anyway, where's last night's card? Because we still mm. got to do a giveaway on that. Yeah, you're giving that lovely person a bit of love, everybody. Because yeah. I think, you I'll know, it's a, it's a case themselves. of numbers, isn't it? Yeah. The only way we can... Thanks for sticking with us. And anyway, the good bit about having stuck with us is you, I suppose, you stand a chance of winning a car. Absolutely. Yeah, you could burn it in all sorts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that person really might win it. it. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, the joy. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, here we go. Here's 
Here's last night. This is what we made um, last night. This is what we coloured in. Yeah. We're using the pencils and that was the one where I used the luminance but and they're the stupid expensive ones but I have got some Arteza coming to try out for you and we might have a little bit of a dabble with them tomorrow night. We How will about have that? a dabble. Oh, she decided then. Oh, we will. looks like it's happening Put then, the everybody. Yeah. With a Whoa. very firm hand. Whoa. So we'll colour something else in and we'll give it away. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do tomorrow night. We will use it on a white background and I'll show you how to blend with the zest it. This is the other thing, the zest it, and we'll do that with the pencils tomorrow night and right. do a bit more different techniques with it and stuff. Okay. But we need to do a draw for this because we didn't do it last night. This you'll not want at the minute. In fact, it's just going to be a glittered bauble when it's done. It will look cool on a kind of graphic, kind of just plain matted and layered card. Uh huh. Yeah, it's still look cool. Yeah. Okay. But it's not full card, is it? Not a full shilling. It's not a full. Yeah. It's one. It's one <laughs> brad short of a card. That one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. right then, are we going to choose somebody now? Uh, yeah. I'm going to see if I can funny. scroll back. This is going to be fun. Right. Okay. I'm She's scrolling. We're doing I'm it live time. I'm Bearing in mind, the I'm first time we did this, we picked Maddie, didn't we? We, didn't, we couldn't do it. Rock right, keep going. Roll, riding, riding out along the bay, all bound for morning town, many miles away. Stop. Yeah. Not no, they're going to think, they're honest to God, they're going to think Seriously? this is a setup. Oh, it's not Maddie again. I wish I could show you my screen. Who was it? Lillian Butcher uh -huh. of the birthday. Are you kidding? No, it's landed on Thank You Heavenly Choir. Look. Oh. Lillian, Lillian Butcher. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you again. Happy birthday Don't do it to her again. again. No, it's not fair. Happy, Just look at the cards. Look at nice things. Drown out the... Look at the beauty of your birthday card. card. Happy birthday again. Yeah. There oh, you there go, you lovely. Go. Lillian, I need, please, a message from you with your address. And that's coming out here. I'll, I'll, not just that, I'll put on a card for you. I'll yes. make it look a bit better. We'll mount it yeah, put it on a put card. On a card. Yeah. Royal, I've got we, glitter I in mean, the eye, I will. think. And I think I've got a big glitter in my eye. Have you? That's everywhere, Maria. Uh, uh huh. Willow's glowing. Today. Willow's glowing. Anarchy Doctor today. So, what are you going to do tomorrow? Well, I don't, well, I'm going to do a, another card, but on a white background, and we'll use the Arteza pencils. I hope they come in time. And um, we'll I'll be able to tell you what they're like. We'll test them out for you because they are super cheap. And I'll talk to you about things I've learned about the light fastness thing as well. And sometimes you don't have to get as hung up as you think on it. All right. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Yeah. And anything else I can think of that um, I can give you some heads up on how to use the USB and techniques and things in the meantime. Okay. So, yeah. And if you're not already a member of Sheena's Inkets, please hop on there. We'll uh, have you into the group, welcome you to the family, and if you've got any questions, ask them there. Yes, that's the best place. Sheena will be there, and the, the team. design team are there, and I think about seven and a half thousand other people. Yes. So somebody knows the answer, and if you've got any specific questions, now's the time to ask them about the USB on the inkets. Yeah, because it might be something I need to mention on telly as well. Exactly, that and we'll, like, yeah. we'll also mention it, or give you the answers tomorrow night, if we can. It's all a bit frantic, RM, but hey, <laughs> yeah. we're here for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, go and go and get that grape juice now. Yeah. Yeah, you can and have your Ribena and I'll have that uh, clear water. Okay. okay, then. All right, then. Night, lovelies. See you tomorrow night. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>